Welcome back. So good morning again. So I'm going to discuss to you Hardy Weinberg equilibrium. This is just a theoretical equation. As long as any influences, outside influences are not present, this might happen. But again, this is just in theory. Now we're going to use the same problem, the 100 Andalusian chickens with this one. And then with the Hardy Weinberg, So, capital P is equals to small letter P squared. Letter H is equals to 2 times P times Q. And letter Q is equals to small letter Q squared. Do you remember the value of P, what small letter P, when we solve the Hardy Wine, um, the gene frequency? That was 58.58, so 0.58 squared. And that is 0.3364 or 0.34. We round it off. Before we solve for letter H, which is for the heterozygous, we'll solve first for the recessive. Do you remember the value of Q? Uh, Q squared. Q was 0 0.42. 0 0.42 squared. So the value for this one is at 0 0.764 or 0 0.18. Now we are going to solve for letter H. So for letter H, so you have 0.58 times 0.42. So the rules of math, if you can remember your math, high school math, or even elementary math, you have to solve this one first, going inside before going outside. So 0 0.58 times 0 0.42, so that's around 0 0.2436. And then you multiply it by 2, thus it is now 0 0.4872 or 0 0.49. The value for the Hardy Weinberg is also equals to one, pretty much like the gene and gene typic frequencies. So you have P plus H plus Q is equals to one. So we have one, and the value of capital P is 0 0.34 plus H is 0 0.49, and then plus 18. 0.18, sorry, 0.18 is 0.83, so this is 1.01, so the value for this one is 1.01. You might be wondering, Doc, is this still correct? Yes, it's still correct, because remember, we rounded the values for P, H, and Q, we rounded it off to the near nearest hundredths place in decimal, if you can remember your decimals. So if you notice, so we only round off our answers once we arrive in the final answer. So if you notice here, when I multiplied 0 0.58 with 0 0.42, there's some... I haven't even rounded it off yet. I only, again, I only rounded it off by here, 0.49 in the final answer. In the, um, I'll take a break. You guys take a break. Pause for a while. 
And after this, we're going to solve the Hardy-Weinberg problem, which involves not knowing even which of the population is a heterozygote. Until then, see you later.